Why did we decide to do this in the shop with no air conditioning? Yeah, it's hot as balls in here. <laughs> as balls. <laughs> What is going on, everybody? Jealous from Fitment Industries, and I'm with... Dakota from Fitment Industries. And we are back with another episode of This or That. So it's pretty simple. If you want your question answered on an episode, just drop it in the comments below. Again, we prefer them to be automotive related. If they're food related, we'll probably throw it in as like a bonus question because it just gets us all heated more than usual. All that kind of good stuff. Before we begin, don't forget we're doing a free wheel giveaway with Koenig Wheels. You can pick up this shirt right oh, Yeah, the shirt, shirt is dope. It's got a Supra on the back, it says drift mode. It's a whole bunch of cool things. Easiest way to enter, to get entered in to win a set of free Koenig wheels. So stop it over at and I'm sure it'll be down in the description below. Yeah. Wheels, tire, suspension, FitmanIndustries.com. Don't yep. forget to subscribe. Yep. All that good stuff. Yep. I think we're ready for the first question. Let's get it. All right, and question number one, is downshifting into a stoplight or putting it into neutral? Easy, downshift. Got a rev match, bro. Always, always rev match. Jeez, who's rolling up in neutral? That's the most boring. You might as well drive an automatic. What the f are you doing? Jesus Christ. I didn't realize I was so passionate about this subject, but apparently I am. Definitely downshift. You know, I downshift I that, all the gears. I think every once in a while, though, I do just pop it in a neutral roll. But I'm saying if I had to pick, I don't yeah, go I'm into first. Boom, you know. do, you, do you go into first? I usually yeah, go to sometimes. I usually go to second, and then it's like neutral because then, sometimes, yeah, yeah, I do that as well. I think honestly, like I was saying, sometimes from third even I'll just, you know, yeah. But yeah, generally downshift, definitely rev match. Yep. Not only downshift but rev match because it's fun. Car <laughs> sounds cool. I get to rev it a little bit. Pops every now and then. Yeah. Well, yeah yours, cool. yours just sounds like a fucking machine gun going off. So. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. All right, and question number two. Daily drive of Bosozoku or Donk? Oof. I'm, well, oh, I was gonna say Bosozoku because they're really cool, but then I thought about dailying one every day. Like, think of that in the winter with the, like, eight foot long <laughs> like splitter. Chin spoiler, just acting like a freaking the road. Plow. <laughs> but, like, most of them are those little, like, old ADM Toyotas that have, yeah. like, 80 horsepower. <laughs> so. You wouldn't be able like to push insanely much. stretched wheels. Yeah, you wouldn't yeah. be able to push much snow. Okay. Ugh. I love. I'm just gonna do it. F it. Full send. <laughs> I'm taking the Bozo Zuku. I honestly think the Donk would be way more functional, even on the rubber bands yeah. and stuff. But you got that height, brother. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Ah, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna pick the Bozo Zuku just for shits and giggles. I think it'd be fun and crazy and. Like, yeah, I daily a Bozo Zuku. That'd be pretty crazy. Definitely. I would say if, if if the conditions were to be where it was in some place that never snowed, the weather was always nice. Yeah. Definitely the Bozo Zuku well, in guess Wisconsin. What? That's not that's not the case. That's not the case. Unfortunately. And then we get like four months of like happy car, fun summertime. Yep. And then it gets taken away for the rest of the <laughs> freaking year. Exactly. I'm gonna have to go with the dong just because like, <laughs> yeah, the practicality of it, I guess, for as stupid as that sounds, <laughs> would be a little more up in Wisconsin than at Bosozoku. Yep. All right, and question number three. Do you let your friends eat in your car or not? So this is a tough one. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> it is a tough one. I actually, just at the showcase, uh, we stopped at Quick Trip. Shout out to Quick Trip. I love Quick Trip. I don't know why I said it so weird. Anyways, we stopped at Quick Trip. <laughs> I love you, Quick Trip. We got, we got some food. And uh, my girlfriend, she started yelling at me because I started eating in my car. She's like, what the what You she never let me eat in your car. <laughs> and then I was like, well, this is a special occasion. So I quick ate it and scarfed it down. So generally in my nice car, the daily, I don't give a f Eat whatever the f you want, you know? Unless it's Cheetos. Yeah, I kind of have to go with the same too. Uh, we did the road rally. Yeah, <laughs> it was like Maggie's like we're gonna be in the road. We're gonna be on the road for like quite some time. She was my co-pilot. Yeah, she's like, I'm gonna get hungry. I'm like, okay, that's fair. <laughs> that's like you fair. can grab some like bars, you know, okay. like some like protein bars or like something like that. But like I specifically said like the Nature Valley, <laughs> like <laughs> that burst yes! into a billion. You drops. open the package and yeah. it's like a god confetti yeah. bomb that goes off. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm just like I was watching her pick them up. I'm like. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, so I guess it, it's very, uh, it, it depends. Usually when I'm in my car yeah. going somewhere, it's not anywhere very long. So if you're eating and it's like, bro, can't you just wait like yeah. five minutes? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I never like thought about that question with other people. I realized I always did, but like 
drop a comment down below. I want to hear, do yeah. you eat in your nice car? Like, is that a thing or am I being way too like anal about it? Because I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways, what's the next question, Greg? Question number four is money shift or stall your car? Oh, stall my car. I, I, I'm going to say like right in front of someone too. Obviously this would be, I'd, I'd, I'd rather stall it. <laughs> Dude, money shifting. I've is, done both. Oh, money I'll shifting. I'll straight up admit it. Oh, Cause like if you stall the car, you stall the car, it's Dude, one, that's embarrassing it's done. As it, it is, but it's one, it's done, it's over with. You can start the car again. You're on with your day. You money shift your freaking GTI or some shit. You're having a bad day. You're having a bad day. But again, you could just move on. You know, it's life. You might get a little bit of grind in there. A little, you know, or the whole freaking flywheel out. flies through the yeah. freaking hood. I mean, that's an option too. That's true, but I've done both. Okay. Because I remember one time specifically, I had my Evo 10, the master cylinder went out. So when I pushed the clutch in, it would just stick to the floor. Mm -hmm. It was terrible. And like, I'd like get my foot underneath it and <laughs> flick it back and able like to get my clutch back. So I was backing into a spot at a car show because you got to back into your spot always. And I, I do it and it sticks to the floor and I, you know, stall it in front of, and like people were coming <laughs> to look at the car and I'm just like, how do I casually start the car with no one noticing that I just stalled it? But you can't. You just it's stick over. your foot out and start pushing <laughs> yeah, it back. Yeah. Just get out of the car and push it into the spot. Start stone and the fucker yeah. back into the For parking spot. So that was embarrassing as I feel like I'm going to, I'm gonna say money shift. Money shift sucks. And okay, as long as the car doesn't break, money shift. Because yeah, that's yeah. Because when, when I when I imagine funny. when I imagine money shifting, I'm I'm expecting like the whole trans just to go, <laughs> like dropping out of the car. <laughs> yeah, blowing up. All right, and question number five: stock suspension and aftermarket rims, or aftermarket suspension and stock rims. I think we've talked about this one a little bit before, if not on a this or that, definitely in like a actual video yeah. that we've done. Yeah. Um, definitely suspension before wheels. Like I've always kind of seen because there are some stock wheels out there that look pretty decent. Yeah, and absolutely. like, and if you, you get like the wheel gap situation figured out a little bit, you give it some drop, it actually looks not too bad. And it's like, it's a good transition into getting wheels Mm -hmm. like further down the road like because sometimes if you get wheels that are like a pretty aggressive setup exactly. not only do you not know like the exact like size and everything that you need or like what the fitment's going to be well, how like are you going to have to run like a, a stretch tire or are you not going to have yeah. to run it so it's like you put that on there and it just looks a little goofy mm -hmm. you know you're on stock height you got like some pretty aggressive wheels going on and people yeah. are like what is going on there so i would definitely say suspension on stock wheels versus aftermarket wheels over suspension yep i'm gonna agree with you suspension first always so yeah when you're going into your next set of wheels being able to look at the going off the stock with an offset and then you're like okay well i can go an inch wider right. and add a little bit of offset here you know it just is nicer rather than like you saying if you buy an aggressive wheel and then you try to lower it on them and you're like, holy shit, I'm gonna have to run crazy negative camber to be yeah. able to fit Might these not, or a yeah. crazy stretch. That's just more of a hassle. I'd rather get the suspension in first and work from there. Yep. Next question, Greg. All right. Oh God, I'm, a, I'm worried. Our, um, bonus question. Oh shit. And it is Xbox or PlayStation? Oh. Well, I think the internet's gonna get mad about this one. There's no question, no thought in my brain about it. I'm Xbox, Xbox all the way, I always have been. I can see where the PlayStation boys come Definitely. from. Like they got the cool exclusives, like you got God of War and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But Xbox, it's just where I've been. You got like right? Forza and you got yeah, Halo. And exactly. You got a whole bunch of other cool stuff. I mean, Halo's really milking it because oh, yeah, there hasn't yeah. been a good Halo game since like Halo 3 pretty much. Honestly, it's just more that's what I'm used to. That's what I got when I was younger. That's what I've been playing. So it's just right. That's what I stick with. It's like super tough, dude. Because it's like, I'm sure if I had a PlayStation or like got like a PS3 back in the day, I'd be like hardcore PlayStation. But like, I think it all depends like who your friend group is in high school. It's like, yo, you want to play exactly. some Xbox yeah, tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you yeah. want to play some PlayStation? Like, oh, I don't have one of those. There's yet. one kid that just dictated what everyone yeah. else got. <laughs> See, I originally started off with PlayStation. I had like the original PlayStation, I had the PS2. Yeah. The only yeah. reason actually wasn't Caleb, I'm sorry, was oh, because of Ace Combat. They came out with Ace Combat 6 and they're like, ah, we're only gonna make it Xbox 360 exclusive. And I'm yeah. like, bro, <laughs> like it's the newest Ace Combat game in like five freaking years. You're telling me I gotta buy a whole new console for it? So then I did and then I just stuck with it ever since. Yep. 
I want to hear what you have down below because I think this one's going to get heated. Yeah. But that'll just blow the comments up and then we'll have to delete like nine <laughs> All right, so that's going to do it for this episode of This or That. Don't forget if you want your question answered, whether it be automotive related or just something way out in left field, <laughs> that's just. We always throw a bonus question. It's in, always so. a bonus question. So we always got one of those. Drop it down in the comments below. Don't forget we got the wheel giveaway going on for the rest of the month of July. Time is running. We're about halfway through. Yep. Shirts are selling fast. You're going to want to pick one up. Easiest way to enter in to win a free set of Koenig wheels. Hell yeah. I think that's about it. I'm Jealous from Fitment Industries. I'm Dakota from Fitment Industries. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you later. Peace.